So what's up guys, this is Jim from Greater China Tech and today I wanna to share with you a little bit about 5G and how it actually works here in China. So there's been a lot of hype about 5G. There's been a lot of people talking about different connections, different speeds, is it real, is it not? And what I wanted to do in this video today is to actually give you guys a view on the ground here in Shanghai of actually how 5G really works. And I wanna pull back the curtain and look hard at some of these different questions like, does 5G live up to the hype? How fast is the connection really? And what does 5G allow me to do in my daily life that I couldn't do before? But first of all, let's see what 5G is and why it's so fast. The G in 5G simply stands for generation. What many people don't realize is that there's actually three different types of 5G bandwidth that can influence the speed of your connection. I'm gonna demonstrate these for you now. So the very fastest type is called MM Wave. This is the type you see on many different YouTube channels. You're getting blazing fast speeds. You have to have a direct line of sight to the base station in order to get access to that really high speed connection. The very opposite end of this is low band. So low band is the kind of system that's available most widely across the United States, but you're not getting very fast speeds. Now in the middle of these two standards is mid band. Mid band is gonna give you a very, very, very fast a low latency connection. It's not as fast as MM Wave, but it's still much faster than existing 4G LTE connections. And again, here in Shanghai, it's widely rolled out pretty much everywhere in the city. So you're getting consistent coverage pretty much anywhere you go and still getting access to a very high speed mid band 5G connection. Some estimates say that it costs around $55,000 or around 360,000 RMB to set up one base station in one city. So when you think about 5G, it's not just a barrier in terms of time it's actually a significant barrier in terms of cost to roll these systems out across the city. So right now, we're gonna test out the speed of an actual 5G connection here in Shanghai. In order to do this, I've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this is running a plan from China Unicom, their 5G plan. I'm gonna be using an app called Speed Test to test these various locations around Shanghai. So here we go. So you can see the connection speed topping out at around 280 megabits down. This is just over half the speed I was getting on my mobile device on 5G all around Shanghai. So it's still much faster on a mobile device, totally wireless, all around the city. Now, lots of attention has been given to 5G lately because Apple recently launched their newest iPhone, which is their first device to natively include support for 5G connectivity. So in the USA, there's around 50,000 currently operating 5G base stations. These are scattered all across the United States. And these are provided by companies like Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. But it's important to remember, they're all offering slightly different versions, flavors, and colors of 5G. So when you think about the overall network that's available for users, it's a little bit of a patchwork that's comprised of different types of 5G from different providers. And as we're gonna learn, providing different levels of speed depending on where you are and what type of base station your phone is tapping into. So when we talk about 5G connections in the United States, we have certain metropolitan areas, for instance, cities that work with companies like Verizon, and they have MM Wave connections. So these MM Wave connections, like the one that's featured in MKBHD's recent video about 5G, they're extremely fast. You're getting connections that are over a thousand megabits per second. Uh, you can get incredible eye-popping speeds. Uh, now, it's a little bit different when you think about the two tiers below that. So you also have mid-band. Mid-band is still a very, very high speed, low latency connection. Uh, this is gonna give you somewhere between 200 and 900 megabits per second. And then you have low band. And low band is actually, you could kind of consider it a little bit like uh, 
4G or LTE on steroids. So this is a speed that's probably 20 to 50% faster than existing 4G or LTE connections, but markedly not that fast. So even if you're looking at your phone in the US and it says you're getting 5G service, it doesn't necessarily mean instantly that you're getting access to this high speed MM wave connection. And this rings true, uh, for instance, with my brother who lives in Silicon Valley. His phone currently displays 5G. And so what we did is I asked him to download the speed test service and run a simple test to see how fast it was. After he did, this is the result he got back. Ridiculous, right? So again, just because something's advertised as 5G, just because you see 5G in the corner of the screen, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting access to these record-breaking, incredible connections. In fact, most of the time in the US, you're getting access to something more like a marketing initiative than a massive shift in the quality of your cell phone speed and service. So let's talk about China. China is one of the first countries in the world that started to install and build a truly 5G native system and infrastructure across the entire country. In 2020, China installed around 700,000 base stations offering 5G service across the country. Even just here in Shanghai, where I live, there's 30,000 base stations currently live. Now again, let's remember, this is in contrast to the US, where across the entire country, there's only 50,000 5G base stations. So in terms of scale, China's leaving everybody else behind. But let's talk a little bit more specifically about the flavor of 5G that's provided here. So China has prioritized the rollout of mid-band 5G connections in terms of the various speeds that are available. And again, this is in contrast to MM Wave, which is the fastest possible connection, and also in contrast to low band, which is basically just an enhanced version of 4G. So the important thing to remember when it comes to mid-band is you're not necessarily gonna get these eye-popping speeds you'll see from other YouTubers, things that are over, you know, for instance, 1,000 megabits per second. However, the real selling point here in Shanghai is about consistency. So you're getting a consistent experience of high-speed internet across the entire city, whether you're on the subway, whether you're walking down the street, whether you're out with your friends, even at home, the connection that I get is faster than the broadband Wi-Fi that I have in my own house. 5G native devices are also significantly cheaper in China than they would be elsewhere in the world. So the baseline for the cheaper end 5G devices here in China is around 300 US dollars. And again, this is about a quarter of the price of the newest iPhone. So it's worth mentioning that China's networks aren't necessarily the best in the entire world. Uh, if we think about the connection, the mid-band here in China, it's fast, it's not the fastest. There's places like South Korea and Switzerland that have wider rollouts of MM wave connections that offer even faster internet on a daily basis. However, it's still pretty good. And the important thing to remember is China, just by sheer number of the population, has rolled out 5G service to a huge number of people. So comparatively, China's rolled out 5G at a much larger scale than any of these other countries. So again, comparing to South Korea, They've offered 5G service now for around 25% of the population. China's only offering 5G for about 8% of the population now. But going forward, China's got a plan to install over 1 million new base stations in 2021. So I think it's not gonna be too long until China has a system that's widely rolled out everywhere in the country. So at the beginning of this video, I posed a question. Does 5G actually live up to the hype? Sitting here in Shanghai, my answer is a resounding yes. Beyond base stations and mobile devices, there's a wide variety of other innovations happening in China related to 5G, and these are gonna show up in some of the future videos that we make that we share with you here on the channel. So this is Jim Fields from Greater China Tech. If you like the video, please click subscribe below to follow us, and thank you for watching.